All right, picture this. You're deep into a video project and feedback is coming in from all over the place. Texts, emails, and random sticky notes. And by the way, why are people still doing that? Pretty soon it's a total mess and nobody knows what's happening. Been there? This is where video review and collaboration tools come in handy. They make it super easy to stay organized with everyone's feedback in a single spot with no confusion, no missed edits, and way less frustration. Now, there are a lot of these tools out there. Some are simple and to the point and others are packed with features for bigger teams or specific workflows. So today we're breaking down the five best video review and collaboration tools for 2025. We'll be talking big names like Frame.io and Vimeo, plus some lesser known ones like Xyflow and FileStage. So whether you're a solo creator or managing a full production team, there's a tool here that'll make life easier. So let's get into it. First on our list is ClickUp Clips. If you're already using ClickUp to manage your projects, this feature might feel like a natural extension, but is it actually worth your time? Let's break it down. ClickUp Clips is their built-in video collaboration tool. You can record your screen, drop those videos right into tasks and leave feedback. It's nice, but honestly, most tools in this space do the same thing. What's a little different here is the automatic transcription. Sure, timestamped comments are a staple on almost every platform, like Quick Reviewer, Vimeo, Frame.io, they've all got it. But ClickUp lets you scan through transcripts, jump to specific moments, or grab text snippets. It's simple, but a genuine time saver, especially if your team is spread across time zones. The other standout is how it integrates with ClickUp itself. Since it's not a standalone tool, everything stays within one system. You can attach video feedback directly to tasks or docs, which is handy. Compare that to tools like Xyflow or FileStage, where you might need extra integrations to get this level of streamlining. File sharing and organization are solid too. You can share clips securely with only the right people and everything is easy to find. Nothing flashy, but it works. Now here's where it might fall short. If you're working on bigger, more complex projects, think heavy video editing workflows, tools like Frame.io have a serious edge. They integrate directly with Premiere Pro and other editing software, so feedback flows right into your timeline. ClickUp Clips just isn't built for that level of integration yet. And if you're managing huge files or need advanced version control, something like FileStage or Vimeo's higher end plans might be a better fit. As for pricing, the free plan is decent, 100 megabytes of storage to try it out, and the $10 per month plan gives you unlimited storage, and $19 a month adds features for larger teams. There's also an enterprise option if you need more customization. So is it a game changer? Not really, but if you're already deep in the ClickUp ecosystem and need something simple for basic video feedback, it's a good fit. It gets the job done without overcomplicating things. Second on our list is Vimeo. You probably know it as the platform for hosting and sharing videos, but here's the twist. It also doubles as a video feedback tool, but is it worth the extra cost? Here's how it works. Vimeo lets you invite collaborators to leave timestamped notes directly on your videos. You can even at mention teammates to make feedback more specific. It's simple, straightforward, and honestly pretty intuitive. What's cool is how Vimeo keeps you updated. Anytime someone uploads, edits, or comments on a video, you get notifications via Slack or email. It's like having a built-in project manager for your feedback loop. There's solid control over permissions too. You can set up secure workspaces to keep everything organized, and if you need to share ideas quickly, Vimeo's got video messaging with screen recording built right in. For teams using tools like Figma or Asana, the integrations are seamless. You can capture and manage video feedback without leaving your existing workflow. Now, pricing is where it gets tricky. The free plan doesn't include any feedback features, so you'll need to pay to play. The starter plan is $20 a month for 100 gigabytes of storage. The standard plan bumps you up to one terabyte for $33 a month. And the advanced plan offers five terabytes for $108 a month. It's not exactly cheap, especially compared to some competitors. 
And that brings us to the cons. Users on Reddit have noted that Vimeo can feel overpriced for what it offers, especially when compared to more feature-packed tools like Frame.io or Zyflow. Some have also mentioned limited integration options and occasional bugs in the feedback system, which can be frustrating when you're trying to streamline your workflow. So who is this for? If you're already using Vimeo for hosting, adding their feedback tool makes sense. It's a natural extension of what you're already doing. But if you're not tied to Vimeo, there are better options out there for the same or less money. In the end, Vimeo's feedback tool is clean and easy to use, but it's definitely a case of paying for convenience, especially if you're already in the Vimeo ecosystem. Just make sure the price and limitations align with what you need. Third on our list is Zyflow. This tool is built for marketing and creative teams who need to manage feedback across not just videos, but also images, documents, and web pages. It's versatile, no doubt about that, but is it worth the steep price tag? Let's break it down. Zyflow's core features are strong. You can leave timestamped comments, compare versions side by side, and even draw directly on the content to highlight specific issues. It's everything you'd expect from a high-end feedback tool. On top of that, Zyflow supports real-time collaboration, audit trails for tracking changes, and role-based permissions to keep things secure. One thing that stands out is how well it integrates with other tools. If your team is using Asana or Adobe Creative Cloud, Zyflow makes sure feedback is easily accessible within those workflows. It's seamless and saves a lot of time jumping between apps. But here's the kicker, pricing. The free tier is extremely limited, just two users and two gigabytes of storage. The standard plan costs $249 a month for 15 users, and the pro plan jumps to $399 a month for 20 users with two terabytes of storage. If you're running a bigger operation, enterprise plans are custom priced, but they don't come cheap. And while Zyflow is feature packed, users have mentioned a couple of drawbacks. First, the learning curve. With so many features, new users might feel overwhelmed at first. Second, the pricing. Teams on tighter budgets might find it hard to justify spending that much compared to tools like FileStage or Frame.io, which offer similar functionality at a lower cost. So who is Zyflow for? If you're a larger team or creative agency handling a variety of media types, it's a great centralized solution. The integration options and detailed feedback features make it powerful. But for smaller teams or those who are just starting out, it might feel like overkill, both in features and in price. Next on our list is file stage. Here's what it gets right. File stage makes feedback simple and efficient. You can leave comments on specific sections of a video, compare different versions side by side, and even review multiple files at the same time. Tracking changes is super clear, so there's no confusion about what's been updated. One of its standout features is customizable workflows. Whether it's internal team reviews, client feedback, or final approvals, you can tailor the process exactly how you need it. Plus, automated reminders make sure everyone stays on track. No more, oops, I forgot excuses from the team. FileStage also integrates with tools you probably already use, like project management and messaging apps, which keep everything running smoothly. Now for the downside. First, the pricing. The free plan is pretty bare bones with just two active projects and two gigabytes of storage. The basic plan starts at 99 euros a month and the professional plan jumps to 299 euros per month. That's steep, especially when compared to tools like Frame.io, Vimeo, or Zyflow, which can offer similar features at a lower cost. But, and this is a big but, FileStage offers unlimited users. For larger teams, this could make it a more cost-effective option than something like Frame.io, where pricing scales per user. Another issue, some users have noted that file stage can feel slow when handling larger files, which isn't great if you're trying to keep your projects moving quickly. So who is this really for? File stage is perfect for larger teams or agencies handling multiple types of media, videos, images, documents, and who need one tool to keep everything in one place. It's also a good fit if you're working with clients regularly and need to streamline approvals across different projects. But if you're a solo creator or a small team focused mostly on video, something like Frame.io might be a better fit. It's faster, more affordable for small setups, and integrates directly into video editing software. 
File stage is great if you need versatility and scale, but it's not ideal for everyone. Last on our list is Frame.io, the tool with probably the largest market share in this space. Here's why it's so popular. Frame.io works directly with editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Feedback from your team shows up right in your editing timeline, which is a total game changer. No switching tabs, no copying comments, you can focus on getting the edit done. Leaving feedback is also super easy too. You can drop comments on specific frames, draw right on the video, or use app mentions to make sure the right person sees your note. And yeah, you can even throw in emojis if that's your vibe. It's straightforward and it just works. Sharing, no stress there either. You can whip up branded presentations and access everything from pretty much any device. And if you're handling sensitive projects, Frame.io's security is solid. Watermarking, encryption, and all of the things. But let's talk pricing. There's a free plan for two users with two gigabytes of storage, which is nice for testing it out. The pro plan is $15 per user per month for up to five users and gives you two terabytes of storage. If you need more, there's a $25 per user plan for up to 15 users with three terabytes of space. It's not cheap, but for what it does, it's a solid investment if you're serious about video. Now, the flip side. Frame.io is fantastic for video, but if your projects involve other media like documents or images, it's not as versatile as tools like FileStage or Zyflow. Some users also say it's not as flexible for teams that need broader project management features. So who is it for? If you're working on video heavy projects and want a tool that fits seamlessly into your editing workflow, Frame.io is hard to beat. It's made for teams that live and breathe video production. But if you're handling mixed media or need something more affordable, you might need to look elsewhere. For pure video feedback though, this is the gold standard. So what do you think? Did we miss any tools you swear by? Or maybe you're already using one of these. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments below. By the way, we reviewed 10 more tools in the full article, so if you're still hunting for the perfect fit, check out the link in the description box below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.